All right, so we're at the field here and I'm getting ready to do some drilling. It's dark, obviously. But one thing I wanted to show y'all, another thing about this GPS, I wanted, you to I wanted to show you how to do a boundary because if you don't know how to do it, it's, it's kind of complicated. It should be easier, but it's not. And there's an option as you're setting up the field, it asks you if you want to record a boundary. I said yes to that option. So you have to do that first of all. All right, so I got one more thing that I want to add about the boundary. And yes, I've got some help. This is a different day. Um, and this was something I thought of that I need to throw into this boundary. Before you make a boundary, you need to do this or uh, it saves this setting. So you don't always have to do this, but you need to, to do it before the first time you make a boundary and uh, what you need to do is you uh, go to settings then you need to go to guidance and boundary setup and once you do that it asks you if you want to enable boundaries you can turn boundaries on and off right here um, and then right here it says expand boundary in other words uh, and I'm having a little help here with the camera. You can do not expand, which will make the boundary exactly where your antenna is when you drive around the field. It'll make it in the same spot that the antenna is over the tractor, the center of the tractor. You can expand it a half a swath, which is what I like to do because you think your antenna is in the center of your tractor, so it's in the center of your implement. And what you want to do or what it does is when you do a half a swath it adds half of your implement width to the bound over expands the boundary that far so if you're running the edge of your implement right against the edge of the woods or the edge of your field that's what you need to set it at is half swath width now one swath width i don't know what you'd use that for but i'm sure somebody has a a use for that but anyway that is something i thought i should throw in on this boundary video so you wouldn't be confused um so now back to your regular scheduled programming i always go counterclockwise on my first round uh that way i can i you know my natural tendency is to turn to the right and look to the right and if i go counterclockwise i can drive along fences and the edge of the woods uh, the easiest because I can see to the right easier than I can see to the left and while trying to watch my implement you know and all the controls are to the right it's just the more natural well you know if you operate a tractor you know what I'm talking about so what you got to do to start a boundary first of all you got to you got to turn on your marking and that that turns on the, uh, if you have a free form or a a, uh, a and B line or whatever turned on, that turns it on also. I showed you how to do that in, the, in another video. Now you see these little arrows here. You see you can push that and you get another set of buttons out here. Uh, that's it's kind of hidden. It, you know, it shouldn't be hidden like that because most people, like my dad for instance, would probably never find those buttons because of that you can hide them and and show them uh but anyway you see this button it says boundary start on it you have to turn that on because it don't cut on automatically now you when you get back all the way around the field you hit boundary finish and it'll tie the last little bit together um you can also if you need to go break off from your boundary and do something else there's a boundary pause button and you can pause it go do whatever you're doing then come back to where you left off and and continue all right so i've got it turned on i've got my marking turned on like i said before i don't have auto steer and it doesn't matter anyway on the first pass field is about uh, four acres so 
With this seven foot drill, it'll probably take me about two hours, I'm guessing. It takes a pretty good while with this little bitty drill. But I'm, you know, I'm blessed to have this drill. My dad bought it for his construction company and he lets me use it. So I'm not going to complain about the drill. It, it does a good job. So. All right, let's check back with you when we get around the field here. All right, so we're getting back around here real close to the, to the uh, where I started this field. You can start to see it coming there in, in the distance. And we're, we're coming up on it here real quick. So, let me move this menu over out of the way a little bit. Now, you can see where I was at over here and started. Now, if you, if you look right behind the center of this implement, you can see a line being drawn in the center. That is part of this free form uh, guidance. Well, it's actually for the auto steer. Um, it only does that when you have uh, the AB line or the free form turned on. Uh, you don't have to use that, and you, you can just drive and uh, try to keep the edge of your implement lined up with the next pass. And, but that's kind of difficult without the light bar up there. The light bar helps. As long as you're drawing this line, then the light bar is going to work. So I'm going to I'm going to go a little bit further to tie these two pieces together. Now I got them real close together here, and now I'm going to push boundary finish. Now I'm not sure why I didn't do anything. should have it says boundary resume boundary finish oh okay I know what I did I accidentally hit boundary pause so all right do you want to store the new boundary yes all right so now there is a black line all the way around this field and it's, it says right here, it's 3.8 acres. So that'll give you an, uh, a pretty good idea how big the field is. Now, you see this blue line, these blue lines on either side, those are my guidance lines now. So what I gotta do is line my tractor up and it just jumped, it thought it might be going the other way. Let me pull up a little more. can see that line it turned red that means that I'm locked on to that line that's the line it's going to follow if I had auto steer it would follow that line the light bar is now on the green light means I'm perfectly lined up with it and it shifts to red if I get off get out of line so I'm going to start going now you can see the red lights on the top now they're moving I got to turn to the right to get lined back up with the green. Now I'm too far to the right, back to the left. Now this is kind of difficult to do um, without auto steer, but it can be done. I mean, you're not as not as accurate without the auto steer. It's just uh, I really uh, equate it to uh, playing a video game. It's just you know you're watching a screen trying to keep something lined up all the time turning a steering wheel and it just it's a, it reminds me a lot of playing farm simulators just you know that's just what it reminds me of but anyway that's how you do a boundary say I'm not the best at it but that is how you do it and and uh, I'm gonna keep on planting here for a while tonight try to get some of it done it's supposed to get a little bit of rain uh, tonight so that'll help things and uh, i guess i'll leave y'all on for now and thanks for watching please subscribe if you like me and like my channel like what i do and uh, we'll see you in the next video